Oh, hi. <laughs> Don't know what just happened there, but it's 8 30 a.m. Mm. Surprise. So, I can't go to school today. It's a long story, but I'm going to tell you all about it. Just stay. Stay. Because you're all I need. I'm not sorry. Anyway, so yesterday was like the wild and dry. So not only did I wake up late, like, but yesterday was wow. So yesterday I woke up around 1 p.m. ish. Um, and I wake up, I check my phone, and then my mom messaged me. She's like, "Hey, when are you getting off of school?" And I'm like, "Now," because I woke up late. There's something I can really do if I wake up late. So, you know. Uh, she's like, you want to go with me to pick out uh, my boyfriend? And it was yesterday, so it's like Thursday. So, you know, we're on our way to go there. We just got to the gas station. And then we left the gas station. And then we, like, start driving and whatnot. And then my mom gets a call from my dad saying, hey, can you go to the hospital, meet me up, there's something wrong with me. So, you know, obviously we went to the hospital, we got to my father for something. I'm not kidding you, like, literally, I'm like right next to the hospital, but we were all the way down by freaking Walmart. And literally, the freaking school isn't like maybe a mile away the most. So, this way. Um, so we went there, checked him out. Uh, we didn't go inside. My mom just looked at him, didn't see anything wrong. So, you know, my dad goes home and takes off his coat and realizes his entire left side swollen. So then he had to go back to the hospital to get him checked out for that. And then, um, we were already on the highway. So we couldn't do anything. So fast forward a little bit, we picked up my mom's boyfriend. We went back to his camper a little, hanging out with his dog, and watch movie and stuff, and food. So I come home to this lovely place I call my home. Um, my dad's girlfriend come marching up the stairs. Of course, my door is long behind. A little bit behind her. So my dad is like, "Hey, why did you tell your grandfather? Why didn't you tell your grandfather where you were going today?" I'm like, why would I need to tell him that? So then she goes, "Can I have your computer?" I'm like, "Why do you want my computer?" I'm like, "I have a few overdue things." She's like, "Aha! You stupid piece of trash! Why aren't you doing your work?" I'm like, "It's overdue." I haven't gotten a chance. I'm still working on it. So she takes the computer downstairs into her room and says, you're going back to public school. I'm like, okay. So, like the kid I am, I'm like, hey, mom. Because I called my mother and I'm like, hey, uh, dad said I'm going back to public school. Actually, uh, my dad's girlfriend did, but still. And then I told them that they just came up here, just kind of cussed me out, you know, doing stuff that normal people do to children, right? Normal parents call kids stupid, right? That's how life works. Anyway, um, I go to take a shower, and supposedly while I was in the shower, my mom called my dad's girlfriend, it's like, what's going on? And then, um, uh... She's, she's like, um, well, can I talk to, uh, their dad? And then she's like, no. She's like, can I talk to my son? She's like, no. And I could talk to me? And I'm like, she's like, no. So then, um, I don't know. It's just the way she was speaking, I guess, that made it think that you're in danger. Because, I mean, what? I mean, I kind of get where my mother's coming from, but if, like, my dad's 
girlfriend or my ex-husband's girlfriend won't let me speak to their my ex-husband or my children, I'd be a little concerned too, so my mom goes ahead and calls the police. She's just trying to make sure that I'm okay. I don't know what exactly was said over the phone, but supposedly it ended with uh, my mother calling the police to make sure that I'm okay. So I'm taking a shower, and then uh, my dad's girlfriend goes back to the door and says, What are you doing? I'm like, What does it sound like I'm doing? I mean, I'm obviously taking a shower, <laughs> and she's like, well, come downstairs. I'm like, I'm, I'm taking a shower. She's like, the police here. I'm like, why are the police here? It's like, well, whatever, just come downstairs. So I had to go dry off, and I had to go downstairs, had to end my shower early. So I went downstairs, there was an actual police there. Actually, they didn't tell me the police were here. They said, someone's here to see you. And then I'm like, why are the police here? And then they're like, are you good? And you aren't being abused or anything? I'm like, not that I know of. So after that, I went back into the shower and finished taking a shower. After the popo left. No offense, police. Well, skip forward a little bit. Um, I went to my room. I was all dressed and everything, and I was packing for today, so I could go to one of three places, or I could go to all three. But I could either go to my mom's, my friend's house, or my other friend's house. I think I'm just gonna go to one of my two friends' house, like I usually do. Anyway, my dad came upstairs and was like, "What are you doing?" And then I'm like, I'm trying to open this because I was trying to open a DS game so I could put the DS chip inside of the little game thing for my DS. Like, not inside of the DS, like in the the actual, like, I had like this pouch with DS holders. Anyway, that's besides the point. So he's like, why are you packing? And I'm like, um, why do you want to know? So, um, I'm like, okay, I'm just doing, what do you need? It's like, just want to see what you were doing. I'm like, well, you saw what I was doing, why are you still here? And then he started saying stuff about how I was stupid and couldn't do my school work, so that's why I'm going to public school and a bunch of stuff. I'm like, go away, please. So everyone just started cussing me out, harassing me, I guess. Well, not harassing me, like, it just didn't make me feel secure. Because, I mean, my family has a history of abuse and a bunch of stuff. And, you know, obviously, my mom divorced my dad over domestic violence and financial issues. So, so like the chicken that I am... I, um, went out of the house, and I ran over to, well, I didn't actually run over to my mom's house, but, um, actually, it's not really my mom's house, it's my mom's friend's house. Sorry, it's just bugging me there. Anyway, um, I just ran over to my mom's friend's house, which is where she lives, and, um, I went over there, and they're like, why are you here? I'm like, because you said I could come over whenever I wanted, so. I go over there and I tell them what happened, and then they're like, "Yee." So, before I left the house, my dad's like, "If you run away, if you go another step, I'm going to call the police. Tell me run away." I'm like, "Go ahead and call them." I'm like, "You'll be doing nothing but helping yourself get in jail after what you just did on me." <laughs> So I went over to my mother's house, and then, well, my mom's friend's house, whatever. And I'm like, we gotta get this figured out. Uh, so, while everyone was sleeping, well, obviously, so it's pee because I'm still awake and I can't sleep for crap. So, um, my mom goes and calls the people that deal with the homeschool and crap, and, um, they're like, hey, uh, cause my dad's girlfriend's trying to say, 
Um, we own, she, it's in her name, but she calls them and there's nobody listed but my name, my mom's name, my father's name. So my mom goes ahead and wipes off my father's name and then puts the password on so no one else besides me and her could be on there unless someone somehow finds out the password. So, um, either I go downstairs to, uh, my father's room and steal the laptop, which technically would be stealing because it's mine, um, or I just have to wait until the emergency laptop that backs up to arrive at my mom's friend's house, and then, um, until then, basically what I'm going to do is have to go over there to get homeschooled. Um, also... Um, my dad's girlfriend smokes weed, so, supposedly, uh, she can get in a lot of trouble for that, so, that's kind of how we're trying to, you know. Anyway, um, so, if the police arrive again, um, I'm probably going to tell them a lot more, because... Last time I didn't really say much because I didn't know what the heck was going on. Um, <laughs> so the police arrive again, I'm probably going to have to tell them all that crap, which is going to be great. I could just show them my blog, but it'd be a little weird being like, Hey, I'm on YouTube, let's watch my videos. I'll just tell them in person, but hopefully the police will come up again. And um, hopefully... I get back to homeschooling, and hopefully, um, all this drama will be over, and I can get back to going to school, and having a life, and having friends, and having a life. So, um, after this, I'm probably going to, um, A, play GTA 4, B, pick up all the stuffed animals on the floor, because I keep on trampling order. C. Pick up all. Put all my clothes up. Which I probably won't do. But. Yeah. Um. Either that. Or D. Um. Be lazy. And. Watch YouTube. What else? Um. So. Thanks for watching my horrible face. Bye.